Let's see how it feels. Oh my god. Good morning everyone from Louisiana today. This is my first time in Louisiana other than just like passing through. I spent the night here at this place last night and yesterday was actually the first day of this entire trip that I didn't really document what I was doing because I knew it wasn't going to be that exciting and I was absolutely correct. So I left Long Beach, Mississippi yesterday morning and I knew that I was coming all the way up here to like about the north central portion of Louisiana. Right now I'm about maybe 15 minutes north of Ruston. Originally the plan was to go to New Orleans, but uh, as you guys know, things are pretty much closed down down there. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back there in the future. I'm not really sure when, but I probably won't take the van either. I might just fly and check that out with either Ashley or some friends of mine. The drive from the Gulf all the way up here was very uneventful. There's a whole lot of nothing coming up through Mississippi and like the same area of Louisiana but it is what it is. A lot of people refer to the southern part of this state as the most fun part, and I'll just have to come back and do that stuff at a later time. So right now, at this very moment, I am at a place called Lincoln Parish Park, and I wasn't really aware of this until yesterday, but instead of counties, in Louisiana they are known as parishes and that has to do with the ties to France and the French and how their laws in regards to like land ownership and mineral rights that stuff still applies down here so that is something that I didn't know until yesterday now this whole campground that I'm staying at back here it basically like wraps around a lake it's a small campground but there are some really nice spots Unfortunately, someone parked in my spot yesterday while I was out doing some things. So when I got back from running errands, uh, my spot was taken. It's a bummer when people don't understand how campgrounds work, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna be here very long today anyway. Now this park that I'm at is known for some pretty cool mountain biking trails, I guess, and on my way in, I noticed that there were trails all over the place. So we're gonna go scope those out right now and just do a quick lap and see what this place has to offer. <laughs> that is the most anticlimactic waterfall I've ever seen in my travels. That's the campground right over there. And I parked the van just on the other side of those class A's right there. Those are some big old carp right there. Hey, there's a turtle too. Hello, Mr. Duck. So much like every day, I don't have a plan for much of anything else today. I do have some friends around this area. You guys may know Shooting Surplus. They're actually based out of an area around here. So I'll probably swing by and visit them for a little bit. Maybe we'll go do some shooting, I'm not really sure. But I'm at the point in the trip now where I'm starting to get a little antsy. I'm getting closer to out west and a lot of the states that I'm really stoked on. So I think the Louisiana portion of this video is going to be a little short lived. Don't take that the wrong way though. I will absolutely be back at some point. All right, it's kind of sticky and gross here because it's just so humid. We're in like swampland area down in the bayou. So while I'm here at the campground, I think I'm gonna take a quick shower and then I'm gonna head over to shooting surplus, I guess. I'm 
What's up, dude? What's up? All right, guys, we are out here now. This is my friend Rand from Shooting Surplus. You guys know who they are, of course. I did the Trash Panda video with them, the Noveski N4 PDW, and this is one of the guys that makes it all happen, so you should definitely check out their website, shootingsurplus.com. <laughs> but, but don't tell YouTube that I uh, said that. So I don't know if I will show us shooting these, maybe not in this video, maybe in a different video, but what do we have here? Let's start with this one first. Okay, so right here we got a B&T TP9. This is a, a limited run that they did in Alpine Green. We got the matching TP9 suppressor for it. You got it fully loaded out. That's with one it. of those guns where I was like, I didn't understand it until I see it in person now. Aesthetic wise, I think it's a super cool looking gun. And that's been a hot seller for a while too, I guess. Yeah, they've been, um, they were kind of slow to start. Uh, this is the second uh, generation of it. The first one had a Picatinny rail here and now they designed it to have this stump but um, you can get the grip separately Okay. so that way technically if you run the grip on it, it becomes an AOW okay and then so you basically have to SBR it mm -hmm. just to be able to run the most true version of it I guess. Gotcha. So this is a MP5 SD clone it's not it's the Dakota Tactical and on the front here we got a Knight's Armament MP5 SD suppressor. So that's, yeah. that's an over barrel suppressor. Yes, correct. And the porting takes uh, supersonic ammunition and slows it down enough to become subsonic. So Sweet. it's really, really quiet and really fun to shoot. So because you guys know how YouTube is, you're not gonna see us shooting this right now, but if you want to see it, follow me on Instagram, follow Shooting Surplus on Instagram, and maybe we'll post some videos and like behind the scenes type of stuff over there so please excuse us while we have fun and i'll check back in in a second all right my dudes we are back at the super secret shooting surplus headquarters and this is about the time where i'm going to hit the road once again again sort of short-lived for louisiana but i will be back to visit new orleans at some point once Things are in a little bit of a better state around the world. I wanted to say thanks to Rand for the hospitality. I hung out with him last night and today as well. Also, thank you to Bruce from Shooting Surplus for setting all this up. It was good to talk with you guys and cool to hang out with you, Rand. So I appreciate everything that you guys are doing for the community. Now, all that being said, we are heading up to a new state. We're going to Arkansas today. Let me see how far we have to go. I'm gonna head up towards the Ozarks, but we're going to stop first in the Hot Springs. Hot Springs National Park is 139 miles from my location right now. We've got a three hour and 14 minute drive. Should be cake compared to yesterday's like five and a half hour drive. So let's hit the road and see what Arkansas has to offer. And just like that, I am in Arkansas now, and I'm currently driving up a single lane road, and I am in the Hot Springs National Park. This is actually the first national park that I've had the van to so far, and maybe there's a chance that we'll hit all of them. Wait, no, it's a lie. I was in Acadia up in Maine. All right, second national park. Check out this road that we're on though single lane road with these like banked turns. It's just a switch back all the way to the top. And supposedly there will be a mountain view when we get there. So we'll see about that. Whoa. Well, I wasn't expecting that.
All right, everyone. Good morning once again from the Golfa Gorge Campground, at least I think that's how you say it. And we are still in the Hot Springs National Park in Arkansas. Yesterday, after I checked out that Mountain View Tower, I became extremely busy. I had some phone calls and emails and some things came at me really fast. So I came down from the Mountain View Tower and I found this campground right here. This is like the official campground of the Hot Springs National Park. That's how you spell it right there. So I spent the night here last night and it was really nice. Nice and quiet, there is a creek right there which I was able to park up against and since I got so much work done and I enjoyed my stay here I'm actually going to use that to my advantage and I'm going to stay here again tonight. I got cell reception so I can upload videos, I can answer DMs and take phone calls and do all of the typical work stuff. Now with that being said, I was not sure what to expect when coming to Hot Springs National Park. When I think of National Park, I think of places like Yellowstone and Yosemite and things like that. So. After doing a little bit of research last night, I realized that Hot Springs National Park is really small. It's actually located like in this town that I drove through on my way to get here yesterday. I mean, look at this town. This is like just on the outskirts of it. And it's just like a tiny little town here in Arkansas. So after finding out some useless facts about Hot Springs, I realized that I can get into town and back on my one wheel and I can see pretty much everything there is to see. We already did the Mountain View Tower yesterday, which was pretty cool. Probably could have just done it with my drone. But there's also a few more things that I want to do today. First thing is you can drink the water and right at the bottom of the mountain tower, there was actually a place where you could fill up a water bottle, so I wanna do that. There are also a few places where you can actually touch the hot water coming out of the springs, which is like 147 degrees when it's out of the ground, and then it cools down a little bit as it like trickles down into town, so I wanna do that as well. And I guess the reason this place is like in the middle of a town is because they take the hot water from the springs like years and years back in the early 1900s, I guess, and they pipe them into bathhouses. And that's how you can like fully submerge yourself in the hot water from the springs. So I'm heading into town right now and we're gonna cross some of those things off the list. Well, this is actually very convenient. I was coming down the hill into town and I came across the Hot Springs National Park Administration Building and right outside is one of these like little fountain things where I can fill up with the water. The sign's kind of hard to read, but it shows all of the minerals that it has in here in parts per million. So it has like silica, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, bicarbonate, sulfate, chloride. Can't see what that says. But yeah, we're gonna fill up my water bottle, I guess. Ooh, it is hot. I wasn't sure if it was actually gonna be hot or what. You could legit probably put some like tea bags in here or maybe like coffee and use it in a French press. It's pretty damn warm. This Hydro Flask that my friend just made for me from Optimum Engraving, my friend Tyler from Mississippi in the previous video, is actually gonna keep it really hot. So I'm going to throw this back into my backpack and take it back to the van and throw it in the fridge. Once we're done exploring, of course. So this is one of the springs right here. As you can see, it's sort of like coming out of the rocks and comes down into a pool here. And then it of course goes like into the building somehow. And although it's like probably 90 something degrees out here, I can feel the heat coming from this water. Let's see how it feels. Oh my God, that is extremely hot. Like almost too hot to be a hot tub hot. 
I'm assuming this one would be the same. <sighs> yeah. All right, so that was pretty neat. 100% not what I was expecting when I heard the name Hot Springs National Park, but still very cool nonetheless. There is a lot of history here in Hot Springs and it's cool to see how they sort of took that natural resource of hot water and turned it into the town that you guys just saw. Now I'm heading back to the campground which is about two miles east of here and I'm probably gonna work a lot for the rest of the day. There is that creek right behind the van that does have cool water, and like I mentioned, it is warm here in Arkansas today. So I'm probably gonna hang out back there, and that is not a bad place to call my office for the day. All right, my dudes, another productive day. After I got back from downtown, I worked literally all day, and I finally knocked out some videos. That's something I've been trying to do for the past few days now, but I keep running into people that I know in all of these different states. Definitely not complaining about that. However, it was good to finally get some work done. Now, one thing that I have to do before this video is over, I gotta try the water that I got earlier. I had that hot spring water in this thing and I came back and threw it in the fridge, not really thinking anything of it. It's in a hydro flask. I pulled it out of the fridge like five hours later and it was still hot to the touch. So what I did was I poured the water into a plastic bottle, put it in the fridge, and now it's back in here and it's nice and cold. So this is like a testes, but without the intro and all that good stuff. So cheers, happy Friday to you guys, or whatever day it might be when this video goes up. Appreciate you all watching. Yeah, that's water, all right. <laughs> I mean, it tastes good. It's, yeah, it's just water. I don't know. One thing that gives water its flavor is obviously all of the minerals in it, and this is full of minerals. I don't know. It's refreshing. So that's all. I did pretty much everything I wanted to do in the Hot Springs National Park. The campground was great, and now, tomorrow, I have to make a decision. Do I head west into Oklahoma? That way I can get a jump start on Texas and the rest of the West, which I'm super excited for. Or do I stay in Arkansas and head north to the Ozarks because I'm here already? I think I'm gonna make that decision on the fly tomorrow and you guys will have to see that in the next episode. So if you wanna see that or if you are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. That is all for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you in the next one.